Hey, how you doing, Ray here? Welcome to It's All at the Cocktail. So, I did a, a video not too long ago on a whiskey sour, and it, it's really good. And I've been playing around with it a bit, and there was a famous bartender, Jeffrey Morgenthaler, he did an Amaretto version of that, and he put some bourbon in there. He put some Cax Grant bourbon in there, it was really strong. But I want to do two things here. I want to tell you about this Breckenridge bourbon that I got and do a mini taste test on and then I'm going to make it into a cocktail. We went to a bourbon tasting at Cardinal Liquors in Crystal Lake, Illinois and one of the ones that they had there was this Breckenridge and we both, my wife and I both really liked it and so we bought a bottle of it. It was like $48. So let me, let me, let me tell you what, what we think about it now. I mean on the nose you get heavy, you get honey, Caramel, vanilla, and then like I said, I'll make it into a cocktail for you. Now something like this is 86 proof. A lot of your whiskey and bourbon enthusiasts are going to drink this neat like this. Maybe a little bit of ice, but this is a shot glass in the freezer, so... A little bit on the sweet side, but you know, it's it's good. I mean, it's like kind of like the honey is definitely prominent. You get a lot of the honey, you get the vanilla taste. I mean, I think at forty eight dollars, it's kind of pricey, but I think uh, I I might I might go in for another bottle of this. They say in the bottle, this is from the snow melt of the Rocky Mountains, Breckenridge, Colorado. I think it's pretty good, but your opinion matters too. So do me a favor, write me back a comment and tell me what you think of it. But I want you to stick around because I'm going to put this in a cocktail. Okay? So stick with me, my friends. Hey, everybody. Ray here. Welcome back. So like I said, this Breckenridge bourbon is kind of a smooth sipper. Some people might think it's a little sweet, but... It kind of grows on you the more you drink it. But anyways, I'm going to make it into an Amaretto Sour. Okay? So I'm going to use my favorite brand of Amaretto. And I realize I do have four different brands of Amaretto. So I'm going to have to do a comparison tasting of Amarettos. But I happen to like the Luxardo Amaretto. Okay? So I'm going to use a little Breckerage bourbon. Some Luxardo. And I'm going to use an egg white because I like the foaminess you get from the egg white. Now I can't do those fancy pouring it back and forth so I'm going to use an egg separator. Okay, so let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an ounce and a half of our Luxardo Amaretto in there. Got a little hash marks in here. I can see where an ounce and a half is. This is two. Okay, put that into our shaker, and then we're going to follow it up with an ounce of our Breckenridge bourbon. Put that into our shaker. Okay, and then we're going to follow it up with just a teaspoon of simple syrup. We don't really need that much. We don't really need that much because we got sweetness with the amaretto, we got sweetness with the maraschino jerry. So I'm just going to go with like a teaspoonful. You know what? I'm just going to put it in here because otherwise I'm going to spill it. Okay. So then. We're going to do our fancy egg separator. Now I can't, some, some people will pour that back and forth between the shells, but I can't. I messed up my arm a while ago in an accident related to drinking and driving. Now I wasn't driving, but that's kind of why I, I can support drinking at home and not having to go out and drink and drive. Okay, so I'm just going to use my egg separator. Crack my egg.
And then all the egg white drops in there. Go to that shell. Now we're simply, that simply separates the egg white from the egg. The egg yolk from the egg white. All that egg white goes in below, and the yolk, you can get it do away with. You can cook it later if you want to. I'm just going to throw it over there for now. So we want to throw that egg white in our shaker. Okay? Then we're simply, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a dry shake. Now a dry shake is mostly just to kind of emulsify it. Because we don't want it, we don't want to stick into the, to any ice cubes. So we're just going to give it a dry shake. For like, like 30 seconds, okay? Just gonna give that a dry shake, let everything gel together, okay? And try to look cool while you're doing it. Don't make faces. Okay. Then we're gonna come back with an ounce of our lemon juice. And I pre-squeeze and strain all the, all the gook out of there, okay? Put that in our shaker. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to give that a good shake for like 10, 11 seconds, okay? Try to do it over your shoulder if you can. When your hand starts getting cold, you know you're kind of done. Then I'm going to grab a, a glass out of our chiller. Whew! Nice and frosty. Now if you don't have a chiller, just grab your glass, set it aside, put some ice in there, and let it get cold while you're making the drink. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, grab your Hawthorne strainer and put it in the glass, man. Okay, now come back with your garnish. I took a, I took an orange slice, speared it, and stopped cherry in there. Okay. Put it on top, and then give it a whirl, my friends. Check it out. Wow, that is good. It's not you wouldn't you would think it'd be sweet and never alcoholic with just amaretto, but with amaretto and <laughs> bourbon, it's excellent. You gotta check these out. I mean, I would like it if you would subscribe like this and share with somebody but definitely send me a comment man just let me know what you think okay because at the end of the day it's all about the cocktail i'll see you next time my friends catch you later <laughs>